I was just uh, just out on my walk here this morning. It's a beautiful day. And I was thinking about our short conversation this morning about uh, your skepticism of that video, which, which is okay. But I've been thinking, um, you've been uh, probably living in a protective manner of being probably for well over 55 years um, by uh, because you experienced so much um, opposition and invalidation in your growing up years you had to be in a permanently um, permanent defensive mode so that is also known as living from our mind or living from our head so there's very little room to live from your heart you probably don't realize that you have a heart at least you are not aware of your heart center consciously because you are always in uh, running the defense program because our mind has the alarm system uh, for danger and fear and uh, if something is in disagreement with you then the shields are up so you're always living in your logical headspace and you can only verify uh, things that make logical sense. You're, you're not allowing um, for heart intuition or heart um, input. When you were a child, you uh, had a great gift of imagination. But life, um, life kind of pushed that, suppressed that. And uh, because things were so crappy all the time, you were uh, always in fight or flight mode. But basically what this quantum science is, is heart science, heart math and heart science. So it's an area that has to do with the heart. And just because it's not visibly verifiable, or at least not uh, um, able to, we're not able to detect it, we call it not real. But imagination is very real. It's the invisible frequencies that turn into matter. So quantum science has to do with our emotions, heart emotions, and mind imagination. And that is how matter is actually created, how this world came into being and continues to come into being. What we're seeing played out now is people's dreams and imaginations, and they put a lot of their emotional energy into that. Like Bill Gates is dreaming big, and he dreams big every day. And uh, the media is the uh, um, the magnifier of that energy. And so, by getting a lot of people to agree to the fear and the what if and the uncertainty. That generates the emotion or energy, energy in motion, towards fear. And uh, just like we can use the garden parable, that if we put a tomato seed in the ground, we're, we're getting tomatoes. It works the same way with quantum science. 
we put the seed of our emotion into the quantum field and it will return a yield of that emotion. So if we're always in fear, and this is what the media uh, propagates, fear, 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 creates a reality of more fear and uh, anxiety. And so we see that turned into matter. That which we fear is what we will see more of. That's how quantum works emotion and thought so yes it is uh, at the moment it is invisible but it will manifest in the future as matter what we think today will manifest in the future as matter as reality so i just thought i would explain that a little bit and uh, yeah so it's a matter of feeling into our heart. And I know when you say that uh, video uh, seems a lot like religion, it's be because it sounds a lot like that it can, with the blind faith in uh, trusting in the invisible. So that for you is a trauma that you sustain from religion and because it looks the same and sounds the same and smells the same your your mind is putting up a defense against it and tries to verify it by logical argument but uh, heart matters cannot be verified through logic it's a different realm so anyways i hope you're having a great day Enjoy the beautiful spring weather for the little time that you get to spend outside. And I'll talk to you later.